Hi, so this week I'm going to show you how to find the save file locations of crack games on a Steam Deck. So first we're going to need to be on the desktop and then we'll go to the file location. So as you can see here in the bottom left, this is the home section. This is the SSD folders. And then if you scroll down further at the bottom, that if you've got an SD card connected. So just follow what I'm doing on screen. So we open this folder and then you'll see there's a lot of extra folders in here. So just go across and make sure you've got the hidden files tab ticked. You need to be able to see the hidden files. Now just follow what I'm doing. We click through. So this is the location that we're going to be able to find all our save games. So all these numbers, these are all the games that you have. You are only supposed to have one folder per game. But for whatever reason on mine, I have several folders, which I'll go into a little bit more detail later on. So I have actually gone through every folder to mark down what one is related to. And then the other option that we've got is to use Proton Tricks. So you find it in the Discover Store. We just find Proton Tricks and then we'll open that up. Click on Launch or Install if you haven't got it. And then what this does, this shows you all your non-Steam games and it shows you what the numbers are at the end. So it gives you a little bit of a shortcut on finding what game you're looking for. So we've got a few games in here that we're going to have a little bit of detail on. So the reason I've got two different versions of Hogwarts is I had one on the SD card. I transferred it across to the internal SSD and I'm yet to delete the older version because I want to get the save file out of it. So you find whichever game you want, you click on it, you click OK there, just agree or disagree to these little boxes that only ask you the once. And then we browse the files, click OK and it will take you to this section. But I'm going to show you how to find it the other way that we've just done. So when we got to the numbers, so that's the number that I'm going to search for now. These are all the games that we've got. So I'm going to search for that number of the GTA that we just had. So you click on this, again, follow what I'm doing, and this will follow all the way through. So when I first started reading, I was told the document section was where the save files were. So if you click into this, there's a Rockstar section, but there's no save file in there. So I had to keep doing a little bit more deeper delving and then I found that it was in app data and roaming and then this is where we can go and then this is the section this is the this is the save file so all these are what you need to transfer across so I'm going to show it in action now so I've just transferred GTA 5 from the SD card to the SSD unfortunately it doesn't transfer the saves so I'm going to have to transfer them manually so I'll start up GTA 5 from the SSD so it boots up a lot quicker this is the main reason that I transferred it across and now as you can see this is the open sequence of the game so there's no save file or anything so we'll shut that down now we're going to go back so I'll go to Proton Tricks make it easy to find because I can't remember the number off the top of my head we'll go to launch we'll find GTA 5 so this is the new save file and then we'll open this up Give it a couple of seconds, then we'll go to Browse Files, click OK, and then we can track it through this way, so we'll just keep going. I do recommend using a mouse and a keyboard for all this, it makes it a lot easier. So we click in here, as you can see, this is the save file, but there's no save file in there. So what we need to go do is go back and find one of the old save files. So this is what I was saying before when I had lots of save files. So these are all the numbers that I've gone through. They all seem to be have some kind of a link to GTA 5. Only one of them had a save file in it though. So I'm not quite sure why all the other ones are there, whether to delete whether you can delete them or not. But obviously I'm gonna leave them. So this is the one which has got a save file, so I'm just going through, keep clicking, and if I keep clicking into it, we'll finally see that there's a few extra files in there. So I'm gonna click back and then this is the folder. I'm gonna save this whole thing. So you can just save it and then go to the other one, but I'm going to make it a little bit easier so we don't lose anything. So I'm just going to close all this stuff down. We don't need any of this. And I'm just going to create a new folder on the desktop just to save it for a moment. So this would be my new GTA 5 save folder. So we open that up. Paste it in there. This way we'll know it's there in case we forget about it. So now I'm going to go back to the original new game folder which doesn't have any saves so again 
you can just go straight through the folder we've done previously if you want or go through proton tricks again which is the easier way and then we go to browse we'll find what we want we'll click through again to find the save location and then this is the number this is what we need to replace all we need to do is we're going to right click and paste in here So we just need to make sure that we replace everything in there. We need to overwrite everything. It should only take a couple of seconds because the save files are quite small. And then once the box goes off at the corner, that means it's done. So we can shut all this down. And now in theory, we should have our save file from our original game onto our new version. So we'll go back to Steam again. We'll relaunch it again. We'll fast forward all the start bits so we're not waiting around. We'll load the story mode and then hopefully we'll have something. And there you can see we're now booting the save file that we transferred from an old version onto this one. You can obviously also download save files from online. So if someone's 100% of the game, this is what you need to do. And this is the location to move it to. So hopefully this helps, as there was not a lot of information online. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.